All right. Again, it's Friday the second, or May. Uh, I'm sorry, Friday, June second. <laughs> and we have oh, finally done the last, the last package here. So, all right. And then I can go to. Time is at six thirty, almost seven o'clock. I have a chamber meeting at eight, so I'll be done just in time. What do we have here? Can't even read it. Uh, handcrafted castor oil. Oil must have got out or something. Something happened because I can't read this. It's seven ninety five. With tax, it was eight fifty five. So, but anyway, this is the organic uh, castor uh, organic castor oil for hair, nails, and skin. Um, expeller pressed and all natural, eight ounces. So basically. <laughs> It's 100% pure, natural, organic castor oil for external use only. Keep out of the reach of children. Avoid direct contact and eyes. Blah, blah, blah. Keep bottle closed and store place. Not tested on animals. 100% um, pure castor oil is unfiltered, undiluted without any additives or fillers. Um, and enriched with vitamins and fatty acids. It is truly wonder care of oil from skin care to <clears throat> hair care and way beyond. The amazing oil has endless uses when applied on the hair. It preserves the moisture in the hair shaft and makes each strand thicker and darker. Castor oil is the found to be effective in growing <clears throat> thickening eyelashes, also known to to uh, moisture the skin and even help with muscle aches and pain for skin apply a small amount of castor oil to the skin and massage for hair apply a small amount of castor oil to the scalp massage and repeat consistently um, these statements have been have not been evaluated but evaluated by the FDA the product does not in, intended to treat cure prevent or diagnose any disease or conditions Distributed by Handcraft Blends, Austin, Texas. Handcraftblends.com, Texas, it's 78731. And that's about it. Let's see here. The lid seems to be a little loose. It's probably why there's oil getting out. And this, supposedly, this castor oil. It is very messy, sloppy, and you very need to be very careful on as far as uh, where you put this because it'll get on everything and stain everything. So you definitely want to have a towel or rag handy or close by because look at that. I mean, it is super greasy, oily. So I would definitely keep this... Um, maybe in a Ziploc bag or something or have a towel handy because once you get this on you it is uh, <laughs> really hard to get off but um, I've got a, a sore uh, really tender heel and I'm going to rub it on there and see if it breaks down the basically the muscles in my heel like right on the instep here I've had treatments on it and I've stretched out my calf, but there's a, a lot of adhesion and stickiness right there in the heel. And I'm going to rub that on there because uh, I do, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I massage that part of the heel and it's starting to break up that adhesion and it helps a lot. So I figured if I use this castor oil, it'll help uh, with that as well. And also, it's supposed to penetrate deep down inside the body as well so I've never tried it before uh, I've watched a couple videos and I've heard that it does it works miracles so if you have a something that really aches and is sore and it's something that is uh, you can't get rid of this is supposed to go deep down inside and work on it internally so 
who knows, it's worth a try. I've tried about everything else. Um, I've stretched, I've went to uh, different therapies. Um, I've stretched out, I've went, I mean, I've tried everything. Um, and the ultrasound was the best. The stretching and the ultrasound did the most. Uh, it's basically um, Achilles problems. So if you wear boots a lot and don't have a lot of flexion in the heel, in the calf, it'll tighten up and it'll put extra pressure on the uh, insertion of that muscle uh, fiber and <clears throat> the ligaments in the heel right there. And you'll start to get knots and you'll start to have other problems. So the <clears throat> best thing to do is keep that calf stretched out and uh, manipulate and massage that tendon. And uh, hopefully you won't have the same problems that I do. So. Anyway, that's all I have. I'll try to leave a link in the description, like this video, uh, crush like button, and also too, I'll try to do some follow-up videos in a about maybe a month or two to see if this is working. Peace.